All right, grab it through dumbbells, medium dumbbells. Guys, you have it. Guys, you are listening. Sure. Ah, you are recording, stop. Okay. No, it's because I, I was changing here. Okay. Grab two medium to heavy dumbbells. Double. Between those shoulder blades. Good morning, Nina. Oh, is that two Nina? I got one good morning. Got two and one good morning. All right. <clears throat> Let's open up that chest. Stretching again through those shoulder blades. Get those arms nice and warmed up. Tummies are tight. Thinking about that core, getting that started. Let's add some knees real quick. Oh, I'm over here. Trying to add some knees. <laughs> That's just way too much to learn at once, right? This is my square. All right, I got it. Good job. All right, three, two, one. Let's go in for some hyperextension. Just come up on those toes. Not a big jumpy one right now. Just warming up. Reach that body, keep it nice and tight. Away. Three, two, one. Let's do some jumping jacks. I have a boot. Nice. Get that body warm and the blood flowing. That's going to get all the joints ready to go. Nice light feet, tummy tight, glutes tight, arms up over the head. Ooh, I don't have my timer. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, just jog in place. I don't have the timer. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So first exercise is an alternate reverse lunge with two dumbbells. You just come on down a nice straight line. So let those knees roll over the toes. Nice straight body. Shoulder, uh, weight at the shoulder. Okay, just reverse. Ready? All right, all right, let's go. Three, two, one, let's see how it goes. All right, so dumbbells, put them right on the shoulders, come down in that reverse lunge. Nice job, Marna. Nice job, Carol. Everything looks good. Nice tight core, everyone. Squeeze those glutes, make it count. You're about halfway through. Push through the heel on the front leg. All that weight is right in the heel. You've got about 10 seconds right here. Keep going. You can do this. Three, two, one. All right, next exercise, bicep curls. Nice straight back, tuck the core in. Hips are hinged in. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Make sure you twist at the top. Engage that core. Bicep curls. Nicely done. Make sure those knees are slightly bent, okay? 
Right, so all that power is coming from the core, right? Use your core to power up. You want to focus on those biceps. You don't want to be hinging or swinging. You want to make sure that you're coming up all biceps, okay? Engage that core. You have about 20 seconds left right here. The next exercise, we're going to come down to the ground, and we're going to do Russian twists with the weight here and here. You have 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Come on down to the ground. We're going to do the Russian twist. Knees are either slightly off the ground, knees slightly bent. Keep that core engaged, hips tucked. Side to side, touch the ground with that weight. Three, two, one, go. Nice balance. Engage those obliques. Okay, that looks great, ladies. Okay, if you can't find stability, just put your legs down and keep turning. Make sure you focus on those obliques. You're halfway through this exercise. Let's be mindful of why we're here, right? We want a strong core because the core fuels the power for everything else, right? Your balance, everything. 10 seconds left. Squeeze down into that core. You've got three, two, one. The next exercise is a T plank with the weight. So you're going to be on your side plank. In a, in a plank position, you're going to lift the weight and then push it up. So lift to your chest, then turn, then push it up. See how nice and strong each movement is solid. And you can come down on your knees if you need to. Nice straight body. Three, two, one, let's go. Did you guys get that? Perfect, Soraya. Nice, Sarah. All right, got to engage that core. Make sure you have a good balance, everyone. Don't let that, don't let your shoulder carry you back. Try to keep it nice and straight. Yes. Perfect. All right, you've got about 20 seconds left here. Keep that core nice and strong. Squeeze your glutes tighter. Tuck in those abdominals. Concentrate on your movement. You have three, two, one, and done. Next exercise is going to be an up-down squat. So just regular squat position. Feet are a little bit more than shoulder width apart. You're just walking it down and up. Can you guys see this? Right, make sure those toes don't go over those knees. Make sure the toes are also along with the knees aligned. Three, two, one, let's go. Nice wide stance. Okay, coming down, keeping the stance wide as you come down and up, all right? So it's kind of like, you know, like that football squat where they come down and up, but you don't come all the way up. You're always in that squat, okay? Always in the squat, coming down. Tuck those coming. Turn up, nice. Good work, guys. Keep it up. Engage that core. You have about 10 seconds left right here. You got three, two, and one. Nicely done. Next exercise is a kneeling side bend. You've got your weight in one hand. You're on your knees, hands above the head, reaching down towards the ground and up. You're working your obliques here. Three, two, and one. Let's go, everyone. You can do this. I know that sometimes it feels like, oh, can I do this? But you can because your body's not in charge, your mind is in charge. You also want to think about 
the mind muscle connection. What muscles are you working right now? Okay, those are the ones you're focusing on. You're reaching down with those openings and you're pulling up. Both sides are engaged. Both of them down and back. Hands above the head. You have about 20 seconds left right here. And then we'll switch sides. Three, two, and one. Let's switch sides. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Other side. Let's go. Focus. Push those shoulder blades down. Jack a little bit. Push together. Shoulders down. Focus on those abs. Looks good, guys. Keep going. Engage all those core, all those core. About 20 seconds here, guys. You're doing a great job. Hold on to it. Right? This is where you say to yourself, I can do this. I've got the strength. I've got the power. This is what I want to do. Three, two, and one. Nice work, everyone. All right, now we got some squat thrusts. If you come back up on your feet, let's go. Let's move this. You know these. Hinge at the hips. Push your bottom out. Get way low as you can. Do not let those knees go across those toe lines. Ready? Three, two, one. Work. Nice squat, Tara. Good work, Soraya. Now remember, guys, the action of coming up and squeezing those glutes through the hamstrings, those weights come up on their own. So you're not lifting your weights from your shoulders. You're using your momentum to get those weights up above your head. Nice, strong arms straight up and down. Squeeze through those glutes. Push through the hamstrings and the glutes when you come up. Let that momentum push it up. You have 10 seconds left. Nice strong. Okay. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. All right, on your backs again. Dumbbell overhead press. Can you guys see him? So you're going to take that dumbbell. Out of your back. Glutes engaged. Abs down. Knees up. Right there, you're going to bring it over your head and up to like right above, a little bit above below the chin. All right? Three, two, one, let's go. Nice strong arm. Lock those shoulders down. Do not let those shoulders be there. Squeeze those shoulder blades together on the floor. Back is flat. Engage that core. Press it down. Nice adjustment. Perfect. All right, guys. Squeeze those abs into the floor. Squeeze those glutes. Tuck it in tight as the weight goes back. Control that weight all the way up and back. 20 seconds here. Perfect, guys, online. You're doing a great job. Three, two, and one. Nicely done. All right, we're going to go right back to the beginning. So stand up. It's that reverse lunge with the dumbbells right on your shoulder. Core is engaged. Stepping back. If you're losing a little bit of balance, you can step a little wider. Don't step right behind that front leg. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. Make sure that weight is in the front leg through the heel. So you're pushing up through the heel when you step up. All right? And then think about it. How can you make this exercise a little more intense for yourself? Squeeze your quad. Squeeze your glutes. Really push up through that front leg. Think about the action you're doing. You're working those glutes, the hips, the hamstrings. You're halfway there. 
keep working, keep that core engaged. The easiest thing to do is just to kind of go, oh, I'm tired. Body straight, shoulders locked down, shoulder blades flat. Keep it up. 10 seconds here. Got this. Three, two, one. Right back to those bicep curls, right where you're standing. Sit into it, engage, slightly engage those hips and glutes. Bring it up. Three, two, one. Right at the top. Bring it down straight by your side. Supinate at the top. Shoulders are locked down. Right, nice strong core. All biceps, guys. That's the muscle you're working. All biceps. Keep those elbows into the side. Get full extension of those arms. All right. All the way down. Open up that arm. You don't want short little muscles. You want to extend it all the way down, all the way up, focusing on those biceps. You got 20 seconds right here. You can do this. Just keep it up. 10 seconds left. You guys got this. I know you do. Push it. Think about it. Three, two, one. We're going down to those Russian twists. Sitting down. You're still engaging that core. You're still squeezing those glutes. Touch the ground with the weight, but make it count. All right? Three, two, one. Let's go. In a strength day, it's about focusing on those muscles, right? It's about doing what you need to do. Don't waste your movement. Make them clean, precise, focusing on our obliques right now. Squeeze your glutes tighter. Squeeze your abs tighter. That's going to help you with the movement. Concentrate. Push yourself to your limit, all right? You know what you can do, and you can go a little farther than that today. You have 20 seconds left here. <laughs> all right, guys, keep going. Good work. You have a three, two, and one. Right straight into the T plank. Give me a nice straight plank position. Nice and tight. Core is engaged. Turn to the side, bring the weight up by your chest and reach straight up. Do not let your arm go back behind you, straight up and down with your body. You can come to your knees if you need to. Three, two, one. Nice and more. Do you want to come and get All right. Nice and straight and controlled. You got this. Perfect. Just take your time with it. Take your time with this movement, guy. Make it, guys, make it count. All right. Nicely done. Keep it up. Concentrate your halfway through. This is something you can do. Keep working. Keep challenging yourself. Right? When you leave here, you will know that you did your best. And your best is what we're asking from you today. Push yourself to get there. 10 seconds. Keep it up. Nice form, Lerna. You did a good job. Three, two, one. Nicely done, guys. You should give yourself a pound that. That was a challenging exercise. All right. Up, down, squat. Squat. And walk into it. Always stay seated. Knees are wide. The toes are long. The knees, okay? Push that bottom down. Three, two, one. Let's go. Right here. Perfect. Keep going. Nice way to challenge yourself, Lou. Good job with that weight. Good job, Carly. You want to add some weight? You guys are perfectly willing to do it. Uh, you're perfectly. Go ahead and do it. You want to try this? Come on down. It's going to really work those inner thighs and those glutes. You don't have to have the weight. Nice work. Keep it up. You're doing a great job. I'm seeing you. All right, everyone, about 20 seconds here. Come on, get the ball, right? Sit down into that squat. Use those glutes, those hamstrings, those quads. Up in your core. 
trip on them. We're going to do our finisher. Oh, and actually, you do need your weights. I'll go with your lighter weights, yeah? You do need your weights. This is called the uh, Men's Maker. All right, this is a Kayo special. Kayo special. So he's going to show you how it works. I'll get out of the way. All right, so you're going to come into a plank position. You lift, lift, push up, then you're going to come up like that burpee, squat wide, feet flat, and a squat thruster. Then you're coming right back down, 
Put him down, back out to the plank. Lift, row, row, push up. Big wide squat landing flat on those feet outside the hand with a, thru with a squat thruster. I know I thought about that. And I was like, you know what? I'm just not gonna worry about that. You can also come down on your knees for that push up. And you can also walk up those legs. Okay? Or also you have a box. Right here. Rolls, rolls, push up, and pull. Get up, pull. You got this. One minute and a half. Three, two, one, go. Push it. Like if you can bounce up on that. Oh, there you go, Myrna. Myrna. Mora. <laughs> Turn it back there. Nice. Hop it back. Yes. Make sure those feet get wide. Keep going. Three quarters done. Focus. Use that core. How can you push yourself? You're out a minute. You only got 30 seconds left. Come on. Come on. How back do you go and be safe? Push it. Push it. Make a little hop on that burpee hop. Lift the weight stronger. 15 seconds left. Come on. All the way to the one. You can do this. 10 seconds. Five. All the way along. Three, two, one. Woo! Wow. Well done. Give yourselves a hand. That was that was good work you guys did. Pat yourselves on the back. Strong ladies and gentlemen. All right, get some water. Take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Open up those lungs and chest and then breathe out on your way down. Big, huge deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's stretch up those arms, slightly behind those ears, just stretch out that back. And then lean to one side, stretch out those obliques. Other side, just rotate back and forth, nice and slow. All right, shake those arms out. So we're gonna come down and we're gonna come down to your knees and you're gonna stretch out. So you're sitting out, this is at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna push your glutes forward and stretch out this hip flexor right here. So you're just sitting up nice and straight and the only real movement is to hinge that hip forward. You should feel it right here. We're just going to come back and release that pressure on it. And we're going to do it one more time. Just lean forward, squeeze that glute, lean forward. That knee's nice and straight. Okay, we're going to switch sides. Just squeeze that glute, hinge that hip forward just a little. Kind of tucking it in until you feel that stretch right there in the hand. In the, um, there. <laughs> All right, release that pressure. And one more time, just squeeze that glute, press it forward. That hip flexion nice and stretched out. Can you bring that knee down? Knees are a little bit wider. You're going to sit back into those heels. Reach those arms forward. 
and just press back into that, into those heels, chest towards the ground. Come up for that stretch in the lower back, shoulders are down and press back, shoulder blades back, come up here, stretch out. There you go. Nicely done, everyone. Thank you, so, guys. Thanks for coming. Remember that theme of ours is structure equals freedom. And I was thinking a little bit about it today. So what do you want to do today that will give you freedom for the rest of the day? I like to think about it as the next right thing. What are the small steps you're going to take today to reach your goal, right? And it doesn't have to be a big step. It's all those little steps that add up to the long-term change. So think about the little steps that you can take today. It's progress, not perfection. And everybody's steps are going to be different, but it will all lead to a transformational change at the end. So take that today. Think about how you want to make that structure give you freedom today to do what you want to do. All right, we have a few announcements just to remind you. Scan that QRI code there at the end for the Friends and Family Week for bringing somebody for free. Friends and Family Week, scan the QRI code. And then um, you also should have received an email about feedback week. So please check out that email and give us some feedback. Before you go, I know we're ready. Let's put those hands in. Three, two, one, family. Nicely done, everyone. Great job. Thanks, Kyle. Bye, Donna. Have a great day.